challenges were so profound and so mind boggling that it was a one day at a time. All right, how are we going to handle it? Hello, my name is Gwen Freeman. I'm the secretary of the Tulsa County Election Board. I uh, have had the honor to serve in this position uh, for a little over four years in Tulsa County. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thanks to uh, Leadership Tulsa, specifically Adam Palooka for giving us this opportunity to share some of our challenges that we've faced uh, during obviously a very, very busy presidential election. Uh, along with a pandemic and, and all the challenges that were there with that and how we were able to find, adapt, overcome, uh, find the silver lining in uh, what is otherwise a very, very difficult time. As, as a, an election board, we've talked about things like what happens if there's, you know, a tornado and you know your election board is wiped away or if there's a really bad ice storm and you know you can't open your polls or if the building catches on fire and you know you're without certain equipment that you need you covered those scenarios you never stop to think what are we going to do if everyone's going to have to socially separate or distance everyone has to wear a mask uh how in the world are we going to uh, have everyone share a pin. You can't do that. Where? Are, what are we going to do when all these um, um, precinct locations say no? We're closing. We don't want you in our building. What do you do when you have, you know, three quarters of your precinct officials who are responsible on election day for holding an election? When they're over, you know, 60, some of them over 70, they're at risk both in terms of age and in uh, uh, health risk. So what do you do when those people say, no, we, we just don't feel comfortable uh, going out and working the polls? When that's your very life's blood, you cannot hold elections without them. When our precinct officials said, we just don't feel comfortable doing this, you know, I'm, I'm 85 years old or I'm health compromised, of course you don't. We don't blame you. I mean, if you were my mom or my, you know, my dad or whatever, I would want you to stay home and be safe and protect yourself. So as an election board, we're tasked with putting on elections no matter what. It's the law. We have no choice but to conduct conduct these elections. Look, if you're healthy, if you're not immune comp compromised, if you're um, you know, if you're younger, um, is it even conceivable that you could step forward and help relieve some of these folks who are at risk at the polls? I felt guilty even asking it, but here's the neat thing. We had such an overwhelming response from our Tulsa County community. We had not only enough, we had overflow precinct officials for the November election, and that is a first that's the first time ever that that's happened to us. As an election board, what do we want? We want people to vote. Why Why throw it out there and then have many, many people vote and their vote not count because they didn't, you know, include their ID. They didn't, uh, you know, have, go to the right place. They were disenfranchised you know, enfranchised one way or another because they didn't have all the proper information. Well, that was one thing that I really didn't want to happen. I wanted everyone to be extremely informed about how we were doing it, what they could expect from us, what they could expect if they were voting absentee, what they could expect and what they would need to know if they were voting in person at One Oak, or what about, you know, on election day? What do we need to know? This is so vital to our system that everyone, if you're gonna take the time to vote, then we want your vote to count, period. And Mike Malega and his crew over at One Oak are just like the most amazing people. I cannot say thank you to them enough, um, but they, they came forward and said, let us offer up our facility for you guys for early voting. Well. It, it was a massive effort. It involved Tulsa County and city officials and departments that, uh, you know, you never speak to or even think of, but uh, law enforcement, transit, highway, street departments. We had an army of workers. We had tech people. When, then, of course, we had the voters. 
So all of this, all of this came together. It was no small, small task. What I found was the Democrats and Republicans and, 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 you know, independents and all, all in line, fairly miserable because they had to wait <laughs> forever. And I, I mean, I had so many people call me and say, you know, this is just a neat experience. Uh, we were out at the ballpark. We were talking to people around us who didn't even know their political affiliation, you know, just enjoy just kind of hanging out and letting our voices be heard. That was a tremendous, again, uh, on top of everything else I said, it, it's, it was a tremendous glimpse into sort of the soul of our community and how they operate. And so that was another silver lining for us.